so I just got back from traveling in Japan and I was really excited that these were waiting for me when I got back because they were all over Japan when I was there. They've just been released, the Disney Princesses Mild Liners. It's kind of exciting to have this release right after the new Mild Liner colors. These are all part of the original Mild Liner colors. There aren't, none of these are like the new, new ones, but I'll go through the colors and the princesses. I'm actually not, I'm not as good with my princesses as I am with my colors. So I might get some of these princesses wrong, but if I do, I'll just annotate the video and I'll swatch them for you too, just in case you're one of the like only 1% of the universe that isn't familiar already with the mild liners. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm sure the percentage is much higher than that. But yeah, so it, there are five individual colors and then these sets, which are really nice and I think would make nice giftable, giftable sets. Yeah, so why don't I go through the individual colors first. Let me put these over here. I'm gonna use this planner to swatch and actually I'll zoom in also but I'll use this planner for swatching just because it has you know your like standard kind of like nice Japanese paper and it's white so the colors will come out true to how they are so why don't I okay who is this Rapunzel maybe Ugh. yeah wait who has the, oh, that's Sleeping Beauty, okay, yeah. This has to be Ra Rapunzel. So this is Rapunzel with the mild yellow. So I'll just swatch it here. So mild liners, you probably already know, but in case you don't, they are dual-ended. So you are able to do like a more fine line for underlining or drawing, and then your, your more standard wedged highlighter. So there's that one, and this one we decided was Sleeping Beauty, and she's mild pink. I am a big fan of muted highlighters. I just love how like unoffensive they are. <laughs> okay, so this one is mild blue-green, and this is Ariel. Sometimes I say Ariel and sometimes I say Ariel. I don't know what's correct. And I feel like they say both in the movie, in like the Disney movie too. So anyway, let's continue on with the pastels. So then here is your mild blue and this is Cinderella. And I feel like they often don't do Cinderella. So that's kind of fun. Let's do the mild gray. So this is Elsa. And they, right? Isn't that Elsa? And I think it makes a lot of sense that they chose mild gray for her. So let's swatch that here. All right, and so those five you can of course buy individually or they those five come in this set. This is more like the pastel set. Oh, and one thing I like about how they do these sets is it's totally, like you don't have to cut this to open it. It's like Ziploc style. So you could like keep them together like that. It's pretty. Okay, so now let's continue on with the other five colors. So Tinkerbell is mild green. I really like the earthiness of the mild green a lot. And then we've got Snow White, which they almost never do. And she is in the mild red. So I'm probably most excited about the Snow White just because they almost never do her. And because she's such old school Disney that it's kind of cool. The only POC they gave you, do you know what a POC is? It's a princess of color. 
The only one they gave you is Jasmine, which is lame, and I'm sorry about that. And she's mild violet. Okay. And then mild smoke blue is Alice. Pop quiz time, is Alice even a princess? Let me know. I actually did not think so, but I have no idea. And then of course, Belle, who becomes a princess, right? And this is the mild gold. So then those last five colors I swatched come in this packet and let me just zoom back out so you can see everything kind of at once and so those are the new disney mild liners i think they're really fun and they would make a really cool gift we got a whole bunch of them so i'm really hoping we don't run out immediately as we sometimes do with character goods especially the sets all right have a wonderful day and i'll talk to you soon Bye bye